Oh, you can't see. Well, that's gay. I feel like I'm like viewing a spooky story right now. <laughs> but, alright guys. I know this isn't my typical reading. And I don't plan on it to be. Like this is feeling like a blackout reading. My very first blackout reading. So kudos. <laughs> but... In all seriousness, to the ones of you that are in your head about yourself right now, I know I have an issue with it too. You get kind of wrapped up in not having everything that you need. You get wrapped up in envy and jealousy and anger and depression but at the same time I a friend of mine came to me I was talking about himself and his situation and it made me realize that not everybody knows that you cannot go into a situation without having that love for yourself, even if you feel like it's impossible. Feeling like you're not good enough whenever you can have everything in the world and still feel not good enough. You can have nothing at all and <laughs> be the same way. It doesn't really depend on what you have. Do you are on the inside? Money can't buy that. It's one of those things like, I don't know if I'm making sense to people, but came to me all depressed, like, not wanted, I'm not loved, I'm not any of this, but, dude, do you love yourself? Like, some people don't even know how to love themselves because they put so much into other people that they don't even think about it. Like, what are you doing for other people that you need to do to, uh, for yourself? Like, are you taking that time during the day to actually make yourself feel wanted? Make yourself feel good? Are you listening to your favorite music and, like, dancing to it for no fucking reason whatsoever because you're actually happy? People that actually listen to readings, they are, yeah, whenever they're happy in a relationship and all that kind of good shit, it's okay. They're trying to dig up dirt because they're to the point where they're not happy enough with themselves that they have to try and figure out every little aspect of another person. But in all actuality, if it's heartbreaking, it's heartbreaking. Have you stopped to feel anything lately? Have you stopped to actually fucking think, like, dude, that fucking hurt? Like, I, even the manliest of men cry behind closed doors. And you cannot tell me otherwise, because I know a few. They will be the most outspoken, stern people you could ever fucking meet. But if something breaks you, it breaks you. And you gotta feel it. 
Like, you gotta acknowledge it, and if you don't, then you can't really move forward. Sorry, my kids are still up. They're watching that job. That movie's kind of funny. Sorry, got zoned out on the movie. <laughs> but seriously, man. Like, I know this is supposed to be a fucking reading and shit, but I don't think people actually understand the depths. It's just like... Okay, I, like, I was talking to him about... I don't want to say names or anything. But this is one of those things... Like, you're, you haven't even healed from the shit in your past. And whenever heartbreak comes, and then another heartbreak comes, and then another heartbreak comes, you haven't even felt the pain of the past. How are you supposed to be fucking with your future like that? It's one of, it's more or less like, alright. Whenever my grandpa's birthday is, his birthday and his death are all in the same month. I go downhill pretty fucking quick. And I know not many people care about astrology or anything, but the moon is in Pisces. And that brings all this deep emotion, the depression, it makes you confused, makes you just kind of dreamy at the same time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're a psycho. No. No? <laughs> you have so many expectations that just get crushed. On a regular fucking basis. Whether it's expectations for yourself or expectations to someone else. But every month around my grandpa's birthday and his death, I get deep into that hole without even realizing it. And he brought to my attention that not everybody knows that subconsciously a lot of this shit still bothers you. And that's part of an awakening. That is part of your ascension. That is part of breaking down those barriers of your past so that you can move forward is to acknowledge it, to say, I'm going to be better it's next time. Yeah, people show it through addictions. They show it through, like, fucking aggressive behavior. They show it through seclusion. Like, I don't, like, I am guilty of it myself. I am no saint. But I'm in the midst of acknowledging it. And I think other people should, too. I think that a lot of people need to look back and see what legitimately caused their world to start spinning. Go back to the unfuckery or before the fuckery, you know what I mean? Go back to that way of being before however many fucking heartbreaks there were. Like, however many fucking third parties you see and however many tarot fucking videos fuck with your fucking head. It's something that you cannot see anywhere else, except inside your fucking self. Yeah, 
I'm kind of fucking shitting on myself right now because I am a tarot reader and I do look to my readings sometimes to help me figure shit out, whether it be on the inside or the fucking outside. Get up, bad man. But only you specifically know your memories well enough. And they say that every time you think of a memory, this is actually proven. Every time you think of a memory, it diminishes. Your brain kind of twists it a little more. So the harsh reality is Maybe shit ain't what it seems. Whether it be with your parents. You know, us as fucking parents, we're sitting here trying to do the best for our fucking kids. All this kind of good shit. Making them eat their vegetables, trying to fucking teach them right. All this kind of good shit. But did you realize that whenever you were younger? Or did you completely think your parents were a piece of shit? Because I know some parents that actually are. They're horrible. But that's something that you couldn't control either. Nor should you blame yourself for that. Like with friends, it's the same aspect. You think it's something that they did to you fucking years ago. But everyone has a different perception of the situation. But you know the also know the toxic behaviors that are within that. Same with relationships. You get somebody that fucking breadcrumbs you for years like I've seen people okay I've seen both sides of that aspect like I've chased after a man for fucking years and all he was doing was breadcrumbing but I had a friend of mine come to me one time like how do I get these fucking people off of me man like this chick wants us to be in a fucking relationship but I think she's not my fucking type and that hit me hard you know so it's one of those things everybody has a different fucking perception for everything and you cannot sit there and think that somebody is such a fucking bad person because it's a mindset it really is it's a mindset that not everybody can win not everybody can lose yeah they might think the worst of you for doing certain things being with certain people associating yourself with certain people but you alone know what is good for you and know what is bad and if you don't then it's a lesson yeah it hurts for a minute but there's no need to be completely fucking heartbroken all the fucking time sending yourself into fucking depression making it so that you can barely get the fuck up out of bed It's, it's deeper than that. Not many, like this is what sucks about being an empath too. Like I know a lot of you guys get it, whether you're in this spiritual shit or not, it don't matter. All right, you start 
like the fucking second somebody walks through my door the immediate question I ask is what's the worst intentions that they can have you really think that's a fucking good space to be in I'm guilty as fuck I really am But how about you change that? Like, I've been working on it, too. Like, anybody that walks through the fucking door, it's like, okay. What good is going to come out of this? Whether it be good or bad. Because, honey, it's either a blessing or a lesson. Yeah, it might hurt for a minute. But once you get that, uh, figure out what makes you fucking tick. And then move forward from that. Have a cry. Do what you fucking gotta do. Do shit and like change it to where every year on this fucking date you do something that they fucking love to do. Whether they were good for you or bad for you. Do the one fucking memory that you will never fucking forget. That was good. Between you and whoever fucking passed away, whoever fucking treated you like fucking shit, and thank them. Forgive them. Because in that moment, they made you who you are. And it's because of that memory that you actually pushed forward from this. That you were locked on that situation for so long. That shit fucked with you for your entire life. And you're finally moving past that because of that good memory. Change it to that shit for a minute. See how that goes. No, I'm not telling you to run back to the people who fucking treated you like shit. I'm saying let the good times roll. You know what I mean? It's a lot to take on. And like I said, I am no saint. I work a little bit more on myself every fucking day. And I think you guys should too. But anyways, guys. I just figured I'd throw that out there. I'm about to throw some readings out before I go to bed. Hoping to get a good night's sleep because work tomorrow night. But I'm going to try to get as many readings out tonight as I can. Alright guys. I hope you love yourself. I need to. I need to love myself. I need to. I need to love myself. I need to. I need to love myself myself before i love anyone else remember that shit all right and remember that you are worthy because it don't matter what you fucking got as long as you got that mentality that could keep you pushing on be a fucking survivor dude because you are a survivor you are a fucking warrior and i want you to keep going no matter what any fucking reading says Alright, send in light and love, guys.